Peace and blessings, everybody. Peace and blessings to you. It is Sasha Campbell Garvett, your health and personal freedom coach, your mindset freedom coach, your lifestyle freedom coach. Ooh, we throw your hands up if you're here. Brothers and sisters, how y'all feeling? Is it just me or do we kind of lose track of the days when things are kind of like not on our regular schedule? We lose track of the days. Makes you wonder how much time in its current state of being means, right? Or is that paradigm being set to change? But I just wanted to come in and ask you, what are you in for? Have you guys ever had the privilege of meeting someone who just got out of prison? And one of the first things we asked them is, what, what were you in for? They tell you what you were, they were in for and you ask them, you know, did they learn their lesson? And there's usually two type of people that come out of this situation. It's either the people who learn their lesson and they come out bigger, brighter, stronger, uh, a peace, big D, how you doing? Peace from Atlanta. They come out bigger, brighter, stronger. Uh, they are ready to contribute to the society or the, there are those who stay in prison come out, they stay in this prison, even though they're out physically, come out and they repeat the same cycle only to be put back in prison again. And we usually scoff at them and be like, man, they didn't get it, they didn't get it. So the question I'm asking you guys is, what are you in for? Right now, we are all in a state of quarantine. We're not moving as freely as we can physically, but how we move in here is up to us. And how we move in here is going to determine, once the quarantine is done, how we rebuild and restructure the life. Are we going to be functioning members of a new society? Or are we bound and doomed to repeat ourselves because we refuse to change our mind about life? I pray to each and every one of you guys that you do not come out and say business as usual when all this is done. This is an opportunity for us to start over. This is an opportunity for us to reset our mind and to use this quiet time, the time in jail, so to speak, to restructure our lives, to restructure our belief system, to not give power to the outside thing. Because remember, part of the reason we were locked up is because we gave power to the outside. I need to have that whip. I need to have that car. I need to have that house. And we negated our spirit. We did something that's outside of the divinity that we are to get us in prison. So I'm starting to believe that each and every one is locked up because we gave away a part of ourselves to a system that no longer serves us, right? All systems, sewer systems, septic systems, they all have to get cleaned out or else it will fail. So we are in a period of getting cleansed. What are you doing while you're incarcerated physically? How are you going to free your mind? How are you going to move different? How are you going to eat different? How are you going to love different? How are you going to learn different? is the question. You're either going to be part of the solution in the new world or continue this and guarantee that we go through the same thing again, even worse, in another hundred years. I need to know how you're choosing to live while you are incarcerated physically because the world, the system is not going to change on its own. It's not going to change because we're just out of quarantine. It's going to change because the hearts and minds of those that utilize their time right while they were locked up is different. And it's then that we are going to create a new society. Whatever you're feeling right now, whatever you're battling spiritually, ask for some freedom, ask for the way. And I know in this quiet time is when we're going to get the answer to do it. I beg you all, I beg you all so much to use the time that you're locked up to set yourself up for freedom once the quarantine is done. Eat different, think different, love different, hug different, party different, travel different, create a new way of living in all this quiet time. We have the opportunity to either blame the system or create a new system. Repeat, you have an opportunity to blame the system or create a new system. Sure, wash your hands. Sure, don't get too close to people in that way, but you can still send love and light. Make love and light the new norm. Are we going to come out and not want to touch people because in fear that it's going to happen again? Are we going to say, this is what I learned and now I am ready to be a part of this new functioning world. I challenge each and every one of you guys. The spirit has been putting on me. What do I do to help people through this transition? Even though transition is necessary, it is hard for most of us because change is necessary, but it's difficult. Put your hands up. DM me. I'm thinking about an amazing 
chorus, a community to support one another. A lot of us can't go to church, but we can minister to one another. And this is what we are here to do. We are here to uplift each other and decide on the new world that we want. Just because you come out of the physical quarantine don't mean things going to be different. You have to be different. You have to be the change. Just know that I support you. The world supports you. God supports you. And the generations that we don't even see says yes to us. Our ancestors say yes to us. So I challenge each and every one of you guys to use this opportunity that you are being in bondage physically to grow inside. So when you can come out, you could be the Malcolm X that uses incarceration to do good. So when you can come, when you come out, you choose to deposit a new type of energy, a new type of currency in our world. Each and every one of you guys are worth it. Um, please stay tuned for more. I love you. Please follow me on Instagram and YouTube, Life and Light Wellness. I am rooting for us. Remember what Jadika said, we gonna make it. We already did. As you were born, so was the solution. 10 minute visualization challenge. Please visualize the world that you want. The more of us that do it, if we could feed fear, we could feed faith. If we could fear death, we could fear, we could feed life. I challenge each and every one of you guys to do that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you. Peace.